Hunger and poverty, we already know what works. What we need is to... ...presença de vocês, transformando o Rio de Janeiro... The Republica. For his remarks, we now invite the President of the Federative Republic of... ...mente violada. Brazil's hosting the G20 in Rio de Janeiro, in this building right behind me. But two major wars and Donald Trump's election victory have tempered any expectation of a strongly worded statement on geopolitics. Further clouding prospects for consensus, Argentine negotiators are challenging clauses supporting gender equality and a global tax on the super-rich. That leaves experts anticipating a softer statement focused on social issues like the eradication of hunger, one of Brazil's priorities. Looming large on Monday was news of Biden authorizing Ukraine to use U.S.-supplied missiles to strike deeper inside Russia. G20 negotiators are still seeking acceptable language to address the wars in both Ukraine and the Middle East. Donald Trump's election win earlier this month and the imminent return of his America First doctrine may also hamper the diplomatic spirit needed for broad agreement on divisive issues. Brazil's government has stressed that its priority was concrete action, such as the launch on Monday of its global alliance against hunger, as well as the resources needed for its implementation. As of Monday afternoon, 82 countries have signed on. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.